All right, let's do this. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my stream. I'm Pierre. I hope you're all doing okay. And like usual, we are going to start off right away by going over to the computer, and we're going to check out what we did yesterday. So we are working on this painting that was commissioned by a Rastaman because he loved the colors. And we started off uh, with putting some highlights a little bit on all the backgrounds, on the yellow, then the blue, and then on the frame. And then after that, we attacked right away on the plants. Did at least, uh, well, we did two coats, actually. We were lucky to get two coats of everything done. So that was a great uh, way for us to start today. And then after the darker leaves, we tackle these lighter leaves on the top left hand corner, on the bottom right, and then on the top right corner. <clears throat> so th that is what we did. And now, uh, yep, we did add some shading on the dark blue. And so what are we going to do today? We are going to tackle, first of all, the center of this, then we're going to do some highlights and shadowing on the plants, and then maybe we'll tackle uh, the frame by doing some black outlines, and we'll take it from there. We'll see where we're at. We're Friday. There's no way we're going to finish this uh, today anyway, so we might as well just take our time. I'm just thinking about what I got to do, and what I got to do is go over here, get the white, the white paint, and I'm going to tackle my little heart and sperms first like that. This will have time to dry. Then we'll tackle, do the highlights of the plants, and maybe we'll be able to get uh, back to that centerpiece. At first, I thought I would do a mandala in the middle. And then since I had just done one before, uh, forget it. I can't do twice the same thing. So we're going to do a little variation. And I'm sure it's going to be fine by the person that commissioned this painting anyway. So, so we're just going to get the right texture of paint. Not very complicated. Let's get this first clean. Let's not rush as though there was no tomorrow. There we go. So we got that done. I'll put this away to avoid any problems here. And then we have to find the right brush. And I think just to get the right texture, I'm going to use a bigger brush. It doesn't really matter. What I want is to get this nice creamy, nice creamy uh, texture so that when I apply the paint, it's it goes really smoothly. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Just let's move this. Nothing too complicated. Just a little bit of water, white paint. I'm going to move out of the way so the the fan won't blow in the microphone. And I'd rather hear that there's a little background noise, but keeping the fan on because boy. Boy, oh boy, it is a toasty day today. Middle of August, French Riviera, it is warm. There we go, I think that's pretty good. Now the important part is finding the right paintbrush so I don't make this heart too big or too small. I'm gonna bring this up. I guess I can even uh, zoom in a little bit right now. Though I'm going to go back to the other camera for a few seconds, but we'll switch right away. There we go. I'm going to rinse off this brush. There we go. Okay. Now, what painting for about three minutes? My hands are already filthy. Unbelievable. Okay, let's find the right paintbrush because this is really important. Hmm. 
Hmm, okay. I seem to have found, well, two candidates, let's say. Okay. I found these two candidates right here. Well, I got that autofocus on, which I hate. So, we can either go with this one or this one. I'm going to go with the smaller one, this one here. And hopefully this autofocus is not going to give us too many problems. So, let me move this chair out of the way. And let's tackle this. I don't really like starting the day with something, well, this important, but. Okay. So far, so good. So I do want to make this somewhat symmetrical. I'm going to measure this off. Okay, let's go all the way back again. All right, okay, I couldn't talk there. I had to really stay concentrated, even though I do have some leeway to catch up if I screw up, but I'd rather not, obviously. Let's just get this again nice and symmetrical. Step back. And actually, it doesn't look that bad. I'm surprised. No, I guess I'm not surprised. I'm surprised by the amount of paint I'm getting all over my friggin' hands. That's what I'm surprised about. Okay. So, again, I'm going to step back, take a look. Very good. Get that first sperm in there. Yeah, we love our sperms on this channel. Okay, there we go. Now this is going to be orange and red, gold around, yellow and ochre. So that has plenty of time to dry. Now, now what do we do? Let me step back here for a second. Take a look. Okay, we are going to tackle the plants and get some lighter shades into these
plants. Let me get this camera back up a little bit before I switch over. And for that, for that I'm going to take some green and some white paint and we are going to blend them together to get a lighter green now it's obvious that we're not trying to copy reality this is my kind of plants my kind of outlines and it has no basis on reality whatsoever and I don't need this white paint because I have leftovers from over here which is terrific and I'm just going to use that though I don't think I'll have enough but still yeah definitely won't have enough and I'll just put this in the corner I'm going to put this away. There we go. I'm going to pull the white paint back out. I'm going to get out of the frame. There we go. Like usual, clean off the knife. And like usual also, pick the right paintbrush. So, let's go back to this. I assume this is where, where I will find my happiness. I have many choices. It's maybe almost too much choices. And I always seem to end up going back to the same brushes that I'm used to. So I'm going to go with this one right here. I'm going to bring uh, water over here. And we're going to blend this in together. Because that's what this channel is all about, sharing what's going on in the studio. So, let me come over here. We'll bring this baby down. I'll move over to the side so the fan doesn't blow in the microphone. And we're going to blend in these two guys. I might as well do it all because we do have a few plants. Very thick. I'm going to need a little bit of water. There we go. Still pretty thick. Let's get some wet in here. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to just add a little bit more water. I mean, when the paint is the right texture, it just glides on. You don't have to think about anything except the movement you can lose yourself in the movement have your mind drift away okay that looks pretty pretty good i hope this is going to be the right brush if not we'll just have to change it so let's go back up here we're going to start with that top one so i might as well zoom in a little bit And let's go for it. 
So these two leaves here and here overlap these two. So I'm going to start with this one first. There we go. As you see, there's not much, not much to it. Go. And then there's going to be a darker one that's going to go on top of all this anyway, so. Very good. All right, now let's move down. I am really not used to working on paintings this small. I'm amazed. <laughs> it really goes by so quickly. Okay, let's go here. It means I need a special uh, control of my rush. have to be careful, really, until I get into the groove of the whole thing. There we go. I'll leave it like that. Redo it. And let's go back to this third guy here. I'll pull it back so the whole thing is in the field. There we go. So. Okay. And the same for here. Very good. Whoopa. Whoopa. Little speed bump there. Very good. All right. Okay, zoom. Well, that's cool. I see the white is already dry, just about. Okay, very good. Now, let's go back here. Step back for one second and see what's the next step. And the next step is going to be the little green guys. Little green guys. Okay, I got the paint right here. This should go very quickly. I'll get out of the field once again. Find a little palette. Like, uh, this guy right here. Looks like a good candidate. Get my faithful knife. Go get some green way at the bottom of this. Okay, now, hmm, I'm just hesitating with this green. Should I put yellow in it or should I put white in it? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to just step back for one second and Take a second to think about this because I am not a robot. And if I don't see it, I can't paint it. Now there is going to be a darker outline around it. 
but that's not the point right now. The point right now is what kind of a green do I see? And I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with the white. So, as we said, there was no more white paint. So we're going to go back here, grab some white paint. Bring this over here. Like the other one, we really don't need that much. I'm used to making a large quantity because I'm working on huge paintings, but uh, I guess it's just something I'm going to have to be careful about. I hate wasting my paint, especially how much it costs. Boy, whew. it's like an arm and a leg every time you buy a can of paint these days. I won't even talk about the price of brushes. Absurd how expensive a brush is. Eight, twelve dollars. That's why I have some brushes that are over 20 years old. I take really good care of them. I mean, often on this uh, channel, on the stream, while I'm streaming, I go into my kitchen and I actually take a minute off just to clean my brushes with soap because, uh, well, they're my babies. I take good care of them. So, I am rambling on and I'm forgetting what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to mix the light green and I have to find that right brush again. Maybe, maybe I could reuse this one though it looks a little small. This one looks a little big. I thought I had one that was should have been just perfect for the job and here it is. Very good. So I'm going to switch back to the other camera so we can mix this in together. Let me get just out of the field here. And uh, yes, I do have a nice bun here, but it's 96 degrees in the shade. It is hot. So what am I doing instead of acting like an idiot? Oh, yes, I'm switching cameras. And we are going to work this out together. I'll move out of the fan's way. We'll just get a little bit of water here. And we're going to bring the green to the white, rather, the white to the green. Now that does make a lovely green, I must say. I think it can be just a little bit darker. There we go. 96 degrees in the shade. Breathe hot in the shade. Okay, let's just get that nice, nice little texture that we like. This looks a little light, so I ain't going to go back and just add more of the green. I'm just going to stir it and blend it to, until we get the right, the right hue. So the white tends to overpower this. I didn't expect it to be that much. Ah oh, yes, there we go. It's starting to. Let's move this away from the white a little bit. And just work it over here. There we go. Okay, very good. So let's bring this camera up to our canvas. I'm going to stop it right here so I can put this down, grab a little rag, and wipe off the brush so Lord knows I wouldn't want to get any paint on my hands. There we go. Come on that back. 
And we can go up here now and zoom into this upper left hand corner, which is basically what where we are going to start. A little more maybe. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is going nicely. Let me see here. I don't want to put my hands in the paint, but it's all dry. That's amazing. Of course, I do have the fan on, and it is 96 degrees, so it feels like 110, but whatever. No, I want this to go like this. There we go. Just like that. Very nice. Okay. Now let's go to this other, these other three little leaves. I'll zoom in a little more maybe. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Just a little highlights like that. Let's bring it down to these, these guys here. I'll pull back a little bit. There we go. Very good, very good. All right, right on, right on. Pull this back. And now we have to figure out what we're going to do next. Here, I'll pull this all the way back so a little bit of the studio shows show you my very expensive easel yep <clears throat> actually I do have an easel but it's in the basement and I'm not gonna go get it for one painting it takes up too much room this works just fine homemade okay so let's go back over here and figure out what we are going to do next. And I have an idea of what I'm going to do next. I'm going to have a drink of water. Chin chin, as they say in France. And I'm going to use this. Kind of to wipe off the sweat off my eyebrows and forehead. There we go. Okay, so where are we at here? Okay, I could tackle this right now. But what I'm going to do first is take the step forward which means I'm going to work and I'm going to do the outline inside and outside of this frame. Let's get that done. 
and we will f have a feeling that we're really cruising. So I'm going to get a bunch of black paint together, my faithful knife. Okay, I'll figure out the brush in a few minutes. And I guess I can just use this palette right in front of me. Now I'm going to have quite a bit of paint because I am also going to do the outside edge in black as well. I'll start off with that. Since I don't know really what dose to use, I'm not used to painting this small anymore. So I'll just start off with that and this is one of these things where I don't have to worry about because if I run out of black paint, I'm not going to have any problems matching these colors again together. So <laughs> that's going to be fine. But first, first priority, the knife. There we go. Let's clean this guy up. Get him nice and clean in case I have to go back into the white paint. We don't want to end up with gray, gray paint. There we go. Look at that, brand new. <laughs> All right. Yeah, doesn't that look like a brand new paint? Brand new knife? Not quite, huh? No. Show it on the other camera. There. Now that's a brand new clean, clean knife. Okay, so I've had it for 30 years. Maybe actually even more. Anyways, let's get this back in here. Let me take a look and see if my mind and the camera are on the same wavelength. Now that I'm, now we are. Okay, black paint. Now, very important, getting the right brush. I don't want this to be too wide on the inside of the frame. This is a re relatively smooth canvas, so I need a brush that's smooth, so I don't have to put two coats of paint on there. So here is one that I bet is going to be just right for the inside. And I might have to switch to a larger one for the outside. So I'm going to start off with this paint, this brush here I need. Okay, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to switch cameras so we can just kind of do this together. I'm going to bring this a little closer here. I have some water. Get out of the way of the fan. I'm going to move this camera just a whisker over like that. I can do both without... When I mean doing both, I mean getting the water and mixing the paint. And I'm going to turn my back to avoid the fan noise if possible. Okay, I got a lot of black here, so I might as well just, just put a little dip of water in like this. There we go. That'll be quicker, and it should do the trick. I'm just going to move everything into the water like that. And we'll just work it in this corner right here. For some reason, I have a feeling the fan is still blowing in the microphone. I apologize for that. I know there's a, I could put a noise gate on my microphone. A noise gate is one of these things that cuts out the sound, the lower and the higher sounds when you're not talking. But on purpose, I didn't put the noise gate on because I think having the, the sounds of what's going on in the building and the street uh, 
it's all part of uh, the studio so that's why I didn't want to put it on I'm not I'm not looking for the perfection of, uh, of the youtubers you know who have taught me a lot I go on YouTube and look at the lessons for all the programs I use because I do editing as well film editing I know a lot of so I had a lot of programs, a lot of things to learn. Even though there is a Zen saying that is, uh, eternity is the time it takes to learn everything. But I'm not really trying to learn everything. I'll need the things that I need to work, to create. Okay, this looks like it's going to be okay. I hope it will be. So let's come back up here. Let's zoom in. I'm going to start, I think, on the upper left-hand corner. The good thing about this canvas is I can turn it around to suit my purposes. So this is where I want to start. But first I have to wipe off the paintbrush and start off with some, a brush that's, at least that the handle part is clean. There we go. And I have to step back to see what I'm going to do. Okay. Let's try this brush. I hope it will do the trick. If not, I will have to switch. So let me just check and make sure the paint is dry before I go throwing my hands in there. This is barely dry, this one. These are okay, so I'm going to have to be careful. And I'm going to start right here. And this is exactly the width I was looking for, so I looked out. And I'm going to continue on this up here. Very good. I'm going to move the camera around so you can just follow me on this whole thing. There we go. There. Okay. I am going to just go back here a little bit and make this a little bit wider. There we go. Yes, beautiful. When the paint is the right texture, it's a breeze. So, except I just noticed that I put my fucking hand in the painting, in the wet paint. So, and I have to go here and clean it up, which is no big deal, but it does piss me off. I hate doing stuff like that. There. We'll ne never notice it, but still, it's a reminder that I have to be careful. La 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 la. Get this paint off my hands as well. 
as not to track it anywhere else. And down here I have a little bit of black paint as well on the canvas right over here in this corner. And there we go. Cleans off nicely. And since we're sharing everything, I might as well share these spots here as well that I made. So, same thing. Wet cloth. Elbow grease. Find another clean area of the rag. There you go. And we'll never notice it. So, well, that's a lot of little screw ups in a few minutes. Hopefully, we can avoid doing that again. So, I'm going to pull this back because I'm going to turn this around and work on the canvas this way to avoid future catastrophes. Let's just get a drop of water here. There we go. Okay. Let's just rework this paint because with the heat evaporating very quickly. There we go. Back to wiping off the brush. And back to concentration here. So first of all, fixing the screw up. Yeah, the faster I draw these lines, the straighter they are, so. There we go. Okay, very good. Now, turn this baby around. Is the paint dry? Yes, it is. I shouldn't be able to screw up. <laughs> I wouldn't bet my life on it, but uh, we're going to do our best, okay? I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Okay, we'll try to keep this as straight as possible. There we go. That looks pretty good. Let's uh, just work this corner here. So, I'm going to start right here. Give it a nice little squash. 
and pull that down like that. Now all we got to worry about is the thickness. And that seems to be going very well. There we go. And the last stretch, we're going to put this right here. Bring the camera up a little bit. There you go. And this, so I'll just take a look at the paint, okay? Make sure we don't screw up. It looks pretty good. So let's tackle this last stretch. Try to get that first line in, and then I'll worry about the thickness afterwards. There we go. Very good. So, there we go. What's going on here? Okay. All right, just get this last little corner. And I think we're all done. Okay. Very good. So, let's take a look. Pull the camera back a little bit. Check it out. I'll pull the whole thing back, actually. And now we are going to do the outside outline. And for that, I'm going to need a, a wider brush. So, let's get back to our brushes here and see what we're going to use. Now, I wouldn't be surprised. This one here looks pretty, pretty good. Okay. I'm going to bring this over here. So I'm going to add a lot more, more black because I can tell we have quite a bit to do if we're going to do the sides and everything. I may as well go for it right away. Where are you, my knife? There you are. So, that's quite a bit right there. I'd rather just use that. And worse comes to worse, we can always add more later. So, I'm going to come back here. Again, take a look at where we're at. And like before, we are going to work on our black. Get the right texture. I know I have an awful lot there, but it doesn't matter. I can always put it back put it back in the jar later. It won't hurt it. At least we won't have to stop halfway and make more paint. So let's keep working this guy up, giving that right texture. We don't want it to be too liquid because we sure as hell don't want it to drip on the rest of the canvas. Oh, that's awfully creamy there. That looks pretty damn good. Okay, so let me take a look and see what's the easiest way for me to do this without fucking up. Probably just by leaving it the way it is now and tackling that upper that upper stretch, I guess. I don't know. Let me zoom in a little more for you. Oh, let's leave it like that. Okay, like usual, I have to wash or wipe off the, the brush here. I don't like having my fingers in wet paint if possible. Now I don't mind having paint all over my hands, but it's just when I'm working I don't I like to have a nice dry surface. Okay, so let me try this. Concentrate here. Yes, it seems to work just fine.
don't want that line to be too thick, so I'll do this first, and then I'll do the the edge afterwards. There we go, that's pretty good. All right, so I'll just bend this over and do a little house painting here. Easy now then. All right. Very good. Okay, now let's work on the next part. And for that, I think I'm just going to turn the canvas around again. I'm just being always in a comfortable position to paint. Why not? Wonderful. Jesus, what an idiot. Okay. Let me get everything out of the way here to avoid catastrophes. Put this in a position where it won't move. Okay. Just a little bit of water. Okay, let's get you know what, I'm going to put this up like this. Just move it in the right position. And apparently I have more paint, more paint on my hands than I do on the canvas. So, I'm just going to take a second here and see what the hell am I doing? Getting all this paint all over the place. Jesus. Okay, well, I'll wash my hands later. Yes, there we go. One shot. Just bring here a little thicker. And link up to here. Very good. All right. Let's just go, keep going, okay? You can see what's happening. Don't have to change cameras or anything. Let me look at the computer. No, everything is going okay. The camera and my mind are on the same wavelength. So let's continue. Okay, so a little dab of water. All right. Let me just step back for a second. I'm going to just... Now I'm being really picky, but what the hell.
We are professionals. And this is what's screwing me up. There's like a little speed bump right here. There we go. Ah, da, da. Okay. Let me just catch this area right there. Very good. Not going where I want it to go. There we go. Very good. And I guess this is the only. Okay. And let's tackle this last section. A little bit of water. Water and concentration. Like, I'm going to bring this up just a hair. There we go. See, I can see better what I'm doing here. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so I'll just pull the camera back a little bit and I'm going to just take a few seconds. And oops, I already did this edge. So I'll just turn it around and do these two other edges. Three other edges, I should say. Very good. There we go. Let me move things around, Get some room. There we go. And I'll bring this over here. So you can see the edge I'm talking about. There we go. Have a little more class when it's all done like that in black. Let's get back there. I have the paint, so I might as well use it. There we go. They're nice and thick. Very classy. Okay. Let's come back here. Let's 
So put things away. Some little paint brushes. More of these little paint brushes. Oh, come here. There we go. Put that like that. And we are going to go for a little trip to my kitchen so that I can wash my paintbrushes with some soap. So here we are way back in here where I have my little sink. And we're just going to take a few seconds to wash these brushes off. They will feel better too. Water, soap and water. I work it. Fresh water, happy brushes, all nice and clean. And I might as well empty these two guys out and get some fresh water as well. There we go. Okay, little interlude. Life in the studio, yep. Okay, now, where are we? We are, I'll bring this camera back here so we can get back to where we were. Take a look at the computer and see what we're what camera we're on. Okay. So I'm just gonna step back here. Maybe have a shot of water again. And see where we're at here. So, let me just turn this over a little bit like that. I'll switch cameras. 
to try to figure out what we're going to do next. I'm standing back here because I have the fan right behind me and it feels so good. So. Ooh, that feels good too. So where are we at here? The leaves. I'm amazed at how quickly everything is drying. This is really awesome. So we're going to tackle maybe the center part, huh? Let's get to the heart. Bring this up again. Again, with the, see the size of this thing. It should take just a few seconds. I mean, this is really vroom, 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 as they would say in French. So where's my faithful little? There you are. You get a clean palette. Just a little bit of orange. Really don't need much. That's amazing. And I might as well just get the red paint too while I'm here. There we go. Let's rinse off. Rinse off the knife. Okay. Step back, take a look. Very good. Find the right brush again. Shouldn't be too difficult. And it's not because I'm going to use this guy right here. Again, let me switch over here. I'll move the camera back to where it's supposed to be because I'm not in. Front of the fan anymore, unfortunately. Oh, and just a little dab of water. Again, working my little my paint to be that right creamy texture. Even for something as small as this. Okay, there we go. Let's wipe off the excess. I'll zoom in with this camera and then we'll switch over in a few seconds. I don't zoom, dare zoom in too much. I'm afraid it's going to go out of focus. Let me get out of the field. There we go. And let's get this orange background on. There we go. When that is dry, we'll do the other side in red. In the meantime, I'm going to tackle those sperms. So let me get my yellow out. And my knife. I 
I might have to put two coats of the yellow, though. Okay, there we go. I'm going to rinse off, make sure that there is no orange left on my brush. There we go. And I'm actually going to not even wet it to go into this yellow paint so it stays the most opaque possible. So I know you can't see anything because you're on that heart, but here we go. So these are the orange I use. The red I'm going to use and the yellow I'm going to use right now on the sperms. You can see how with the heat how this is it doesn't even need any water. It's unbelievable. Okay sorry let's get back to the painting and I'll zoom back in there on my three little birds. I come tumbling down, singing a sweet song. And there will be a black outline around these, plus a darker yellow to do some shading. So. It doesn't really have to be all that perfect right off the first because I can always make up my mistakes in a few minutes. Which doesn't mean we want to be sloppy either. So let's do this. If you think it's okay, wow. Okay. There. My guess is there will be a, a second coat of the yellow if we want it to be as brilliant, maximum brilliancy, and we do. So very good. I'll rinse off my brush. Let's bring the camera back so you're not stuck on those sperms. There we go. When I'm working on the larger canvas, I mean the cameras are usually pulled all the way back and so you can not only see the whole painting, but you see exactly what's going on in the studio. With this tiny painting, I don't know what to do with my camera, so I kind of zoom in so you can see the whole canvas, but yet you don't see what's going around. So I'll have to figure that one out so it doesn't get too boring too quickly. So, where are we? We are going to step back for a second again. Take a look. Okay. Okay, okay. So I'm thinking, I'm just trying to figure out what to do next. Because a lot of this stuff is kind of like uh, what I have to do next is kind of time consuming. So I don't like starting something and having to stop halfway in between. It drives me crazy. Plus, we're Friday, it's the weekend. I, I don't want to blow the whole uh, weekend thinking about that I have something that's not finished. So, uh, and I'm talking about like doing the, the outline of the leaves and uh, 
So for that, I'm, I'm just going to have to uh, basically wait wait for that. What I, I'd rather do is just wait a few more seconds for the orange to dry. At least I can get the heart finished. And then we can uh, maybe call it the weekend, call it a day. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see where we're at. I'm going to get the red paint ready in the meantime, which means I'm going to have to put a little drop of water in there. So let's drop the water. I'll pull the camera back here so we can look at this together. Again, hopefully I'm not in the fan. My microphone not in the fan, at least. I don't mind being in the fan in front of it. It's just the microphone that bothers me. And I can feel the fan, so I'm assuming the microphone is picking up that noise as well. But we only have a second's worth here of work to do. It's already done. So I can pull the camera back up. And we can go back to the heart. And finish off the the day maybe on the on the heart, that's a nice way to end the day. It doesn't mean I don't have anything else to do. I do, I have several streams uh, that I got to do as well. So I do have more work to do, just not live. Very nice. Okay. There we go. The ring will be in gold. So well, that's pretty cool. Yes, my my studio here is in an incredible building. We have five flights of studio spaces here including a gallery on the first floor where we have art openings, uh, poetry readings, movie projections, concerts. And uh, we are part of the French artistic squat movement. And I've made several videos on YouTube uh, explaining this movement and how to open your own artistic squat and how to hold on to it. So if you have a few seconds, Go check those out. I'll leave uh, some description uh, at the, the in the description. I have some links how to get to them, and uh, and I'm going to step away and take a look and see where we're at here. <clears throat> Let me just get out of the frame for a second. And I'm going to zoom in, and of course. I just realized I was explaining everything, but I was <laughs> facing the wrong camera, right? So uh, apparently my brain and the camera and the computer were not on the same wavelength for that. But anyways, <clears throat> so let me just clean off this brush and see what we're going to do. Are we going to tackle some more today? I am going to go back here and wash my brush for a second with some soap.
There we go. So, what to do, what to do. Well, you know what, the rest is going to take a while. I think uh, this is probably where we're going to go cut, and uh, we'll come back and uh, continue more on uh, Monday. So that's exactly what I'd like to do, is to invite you to come back on Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. We're continuing on this painting that was commissioned by... Uh, Rastaman, and uh, see if we can't get it done during the week. I'm pretty sure we can, seeing how quickly we're going compared to the painting we did before that was uh, six times bigger than this one. So anyways, my friends, I hope you have a great weekend. I'd like to thank you for joining me. I hope as well that uh, we'll get back together on Monday. I'm going to leave you, like usual, with my schedule and by saying, Ciao, mes amis.